Hey, welcome to the state of the glitch. Um, talking about uh, a couple of things. Um, just added a uni mode map called Riviera. Um, so with the uni mode maps that I'm adding at the moment, they're all pretty con conceptual and um, experimental. And with most of them, they're kind of I'm just kind of working out which aspects of them of them are fun, and then I'll kind of tweak them to you know, enhance those aspects. So this one is kind of like a racy kind of downhill kind of thing. So you both start at the top with the first spawn. Um, if someone wants to, they'll drop to get the mega, but you know, if they do, they'll be slowed down a bit. Then they'll get a jump out here, but meanwhile the other guy will be down here. Oh girl. Um, I say guy, it means human. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, getting all the other stuff. Um, so the, the mega there is kind of a um, distraction, I guess. There's another word for that, but I forget. Subterfuge? I don't know. Um, so, you know, you can you can race it down to the bottom and then get all the stuff, try to get all the stuff ahead, or you can kind of get rails and then kind of try to, like, peek at the other guy when he is at a particular angle. Um, so the angles on this I think will be pretty fun with the rails. Um, stuff is kind of littered up the top level with ammo. You have to drop for ammo and then get the jump pad back up in the next thing. Um, and at the bottom there's a couple of tellies that take you back up to the top. So it's a, I think it'll also be pretty fun to practice movement. Um, yeah, it could be a fun one. Um, so yeah, there's every second or third one of those is blocked and you need to get a jump pad. Should be a jump pad here actually. But the idea of, actually the reason there's no jump pad there is because the tellies are down there. But you can see um, that one's blocked and there's a jump pad in front of it. That's basically for the person to drop to get the ammo. So, yeah. So yeah, um... Okay, now the other thing is, uh, if you see down the bottom left, there's like a little wiggly thing. It's showing um, mouse movements. Um, and this key press thing is just on. I'll probably add an option to turn it off unless people don't seem to care. I don't know. I guess I'll wait for the first, pers first person to see. I want to turn that off and then I'll probably add an option. It'll probably be JJ and it'll probably be later this morning. Um, yeah. And uh, so basically, it's not showing like where the mouse is, it's showing how much the mouse is moving in a particular direction. Which is cool though, because you, you know, if it's moving in a tiny circle, you get a tiny circle. If it's moving in a big circle, you get a big circle. If you go up, it goes up, but then it comes back to resting position. Um, so I'm pretty happy with how that works. Uh, I don't know, it's a bit like not smooth. I think that's because I'm not, I've tried to not do it on every tick. Um, it has a bunch of faded circles that trail it, um, which is not, probably not set up in the best way, but probably it's a bit better than just having one circle that looks all staggered um, because of the... I wanted to have a little trail so you can see the, um, the movement more clearly. If it's, just a, if it's just one dot, you can't really see. Um, okay, so let me just check in the updates channel. Um, for stuff that I've changed, okay, yeah. So rockets are always now, um, unless you're in who, unless you're in dual, sorry, rockets where rockets are full damage. Um, in everything else, rockets are team damage, which is fifty percent. So fifty for full, and you know, down from there. Um, let us see. Uh, no damage in warm-up is actually not implemented yet. Um, oh yeah, cool. Yes. This is the location thingy for practicing whatever you want to practice. So at the moment it's shift, but if you press say shift and two, it will save your location at the time you press. So now if I hold shift, I can see my saved location. So if I save another one here, shift and one, Shift and three. And if I hold shift, I can see now where they all are. 
and uh, I can press 3 or 2 or 1 to jump back to there. It's not also, it's not just, um, it's also your velocity. So for example, if I press shift in 1, press 1, I'm, I'm now at the same place going in the same direction at the same speed. It, it will also point your camera in the same direction as well. So I think that's working pretty well and you know, you can see where they all are just to, um, you know, to see which one you want to go to because it might be hard to remember which number is which. So shift and one or sh shift and a number to save and a number to recall. All right. Um, let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, so the Hunimiya maps have been getting work. Um, they're all the big changes. I might as well just give you a quick look at uh, this other one. Huni mode maps are available in DM. But I have to take them out because um, some of the maps have separated areas for spawns. So you get a pair of, like for this one, right? You have a pair of spawns for one. And then, uh, you know, on the second spawn, someone will spawn over here. Someone will spawn over here. And on the third, sorry, the third round, someone will spawn up there, someone will spawn up there. But you know what, for example, in DM, it'll just be random spawns. So you might have someone spawn over here and there's someone spawn up there and it might be difficult for them to get each other. So I have to basically take Huni maps out of DM. Because DM just brings in all the maps um, by default. Uh, okay, so I just wanted to give a quick look at this foggy maze one. JJ's got a couple of more traditional, like, mini dual maps for Huni on the on the end, on the works. Um, currently working on them, which is why they're not available, um, but they will be as soon as he sends me new versions of them, because <clears throat> he said he wants to tweak them, so there's no point really playing them at the moment. Um, either the stuff I've got here is um, all either, either very playable, like I'm happy with where it is for now, nothing is that great at the moment, but uh, or I just want to see people play it. Um, Okay, so this is Foggy Maze. Um, it has a kind of thing where you can't see that clearly into the distance, but it's, I don't know, also experimental. Um, so basically, there is a armor at each end. Um, rails up on the end here, and a quad up the top. So the idea for this quad is basically you get you get two one of the spawns is one person standing here like this and one the on the other end like Blair Witch then you have to basically turn around and attack each other. Um I thought this might be cool, you know, this kind of combo move. So you're pretty vulnerable going into this quad. But um yeah. Uh, and if you fall into the maze then you're kinda of vulnerable but you have to come into the maze to get the um ammo. There's one on each side, or the rocket launcher, of which there is only one, or the armor. Um, and then you're either going to be vulnerable to above, or you have a little maze fight. I think it's okay, you know, as it is. Um, so, yeah, most of them are actually here, um, like there, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, except for Riviera. So these are all pretty okay. Pillar change to get, um, death when you fall off, so if you fall off you don't bounce back up, you just die. Um, which is more in line of how JJ wanted it, but um, we'll see how that goes. Um, any more changes? No. I feel like this got changed a bit. But yeah, this is a this is a cool one. That um, It's also more kind of a standard one. It's a small round atrium. Um, I've reduced the number of items and I've reduced the scale as well. So you basically only have a red armor there, um, rocket here, rails here, ammo in the middle, yellow armor. So it's a red and yellow armor, that's it. Um, instead of there being heaps and heaps of stuff. So this is more of a mm, semi, I don't know, more of a normal kind of less conceptual kind of thing. Anyway. Less experimental, I guess, but they're all kind of um, experimental. Anyway, I'm going to stop recording there and um, yeah, yeah, ping me for a game or better yet, ping a friend for a game. If you want another key for a friend, just let me know. I'll, I'll shoot one to you.